I'm your host, Kinetic, and welcome to Game On In. Hello, welcome to our add-on series. Today we will take a look at add-ons for your action bars. We're using the add-on add-on control panel to enable and disable as we go. Let's take a look at the first add-on. We have bike action bar. Okay, so we can see the first thing it did was stacked these up and put them in the middle of your screen, which is usually the default kind of setup a lot of people I think go for. Uh, it's hidden your menu options, but you still have your equipment containers here. Uh, let's take a look at the options. Okay, so for the bag here, we can have it just hidden uh, to be shown when you hover over it or to just show it. That's cool. The main bar, of course, get rid of the griffins. Nobody loves the griffins. The stance bar. And then you have profiles. So you can set it if you want it different for different characters. Cool, very simple, but uh, I think that does what a lot of people want want to do with it. Okay, let's take a look at the next add-on. We have Bartender 4. Uh, let's get into the menus here. You also have an option to lock and unlock the bars if you want to drag them around. So let's take a look. Now, Bartender 4 is pretty in-depth. It has a lot of options. You can get really custom with this, but today we're just taking a look at the kind of out-of-the-box settings, the way most people would use it without really getting into tweaking. Um, I think if you uh, have used any of these kind of add-ons, you, you know the possibilities with kind of making creative layouts and changing down sizes and, and things like that. But for the simple setup, typical user, we're looking at basic settings or things like uh, whether you can hold down a modifier like shift or alt control to automatically cast on yourself. So if you have say a heel on your bar and you wanna be able to click it and then click on you know the party member or whatever, but uh, then be able to also target yourself without having to click on yourself or click the heel and then click yourself. You can hold down the modifier. Um, you can also add in the option to just make it so that a right click on any ability would cast it on yourself. You can also set up a modifier so that you can automatically cast on a focus target, which is kind of cool. If you're healing in a dungeon, you could set it up so that You've got your tank as uh, as your focus, and then use that modifier, and then whoever you have targeted, especially like say on a discipline priest or something, you know, you may want to keep uh, a mob targeted or keep the boss targeted, but you want to be able to keep you know casting a bubble, say on the on the tank or whatever. That's a cool feature feature there. You can also set it up so that the keys. Uh, go red or change their visibility somehow uh, if a player is out of range of your given spell. So if you have a heal targeted and you're in a raid uh, and you have uh, a member of the raid targeted, you can see that you're out of range of them. You're not just clicking, wondering why it's not casting. And you can customize that to whatever you want. Um, you can also set up a modifier to go on mouse over which is kind of cool. If you don't want the two click interaction where you would cl click a heel and then click on the player, you can set it up so that with that modifier down, uh, that heel would just automatically go on 
whoever you're mousing over their unit frame. So actual bar options, of course, this gets pretty in depth here. You can change if they're vertical or horizontal. You can change uh, a lot of things here. You can, of course, hide, uh, you know, if you want to see the, the hotkeys, if you want to see the text of a macro. This is another cool thing is that you can make it click through. So say if you have an ability that you know the hotkey for it, you never need to click on it, but you do want to see it kind of bigger and maybe more central. You just want to see the cooldown for it. You could put that on its own bar shrink it down to just show the one button and now all the other buttons would be hidden if this background were hidden and uh, you could then just have that there but have it click through so you can't accidentally click on the button itself but you can see it right wherever you'd like it You then, of course, also have the option to have it fade when you're out of combat. Um, you can have bars, of course, hidden if you don't need a bar if it's empty. Tons of options here. And a lot of custom code you can do as well. A lot of things here you can mess with. We won't get too in depth here. If we unlock the bars here, of course, you can see you can uh, drag these things around. They have snapping, which is, of course, always nice. can of course drag these bars anywhere you like so let's take a look through here at some of the other things And of course hide any of these things that you don't need and then of course the art bars this is kind of cool you can change if you like having the end caps here but you want something different you got um, a lion and a background image here for this it's cool. You can also just have that fade out. Of course, you can also disable it if you just want to go with the bars. Lots of options here. Of course, you can do presets. You can go with some of their uh, their layouts. You can also, of course, hide the experience bar, reputation bar, artifact power. And then you can set up profiles. So you can have this uh, whatever you'd like it to look like. Okay, let's take a look at the next add-on. We have dominoes, which is the other big add-on in this category. Now we're gonna see we have most of the same features as Bartender 4 had here. Um, the way they kind of go about it's a little bit different. So let's take a look at the menu. There's a few cool features here that you can have the buttons shown even when they're empty, of course. You can hide uh, 
text as with bartender you can set a right click target to yourself focus target of target Uh, you can, of course, do profiles and things like that. And then we go into the layout menu. And you can configure these, put these anywhere you like. If you want it to be a vertical, you can, of course, right click it and change the columns. So if you want that to be on the bar there, you can also middle click and that will hide those if there are things you don't need you can also change the opacity of bars so if you want something kind of visible it's kind of neat and of course you've got your artifact and experience and reputation bars which if you want them you can also change the scale if you want these to be uh, just smaller Um, you can also, you know, if you want them to be somewhere in the corners here or whatever. And then there are some options here to mess with. You also have textures for bars and things. You can uh, change that. You can change fonts if they have uh, if they have text on them for like the fonts here and things like that. Pretty flexible. So we could do a you know simple default layout if we wanted uh, and leave that. They also have snapping and stuff so you can attach a couple of bars. those to be so and then you could hide the other bars that you don't need now these two things here are extra modules that you can choose to not download or download but they let you also control the quest log which is nice the mini map is a plugin and also the buffs and debuffs And then we are back to having the bars that we have shown, the bars that we have hidden. Okay, that should do it for this episode. Remember, if you enjoyed this, pressing the like button is absolutely free. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Game on End. Bye now.